Now to the fallout from yesterday's slow-moving storm over Norfolk. All is dry now, but plenty of people are still cleaning up from that quickly rising water, and they're asking the question, is there anything the city can do to stop this from happening in the future? Then your side's Matt Gregory is following up tonight. Matt? Short answer from the city is no, there's not much they can do. Every time it rains right around here, this is Monticello and 9th, you can see what's left behind, the high water mark over there by that car that no one's claimed. People here say they're used to it. They're used to seeing this kind of thing happen when it rains so much. They just want to see it cleaned up quickly also. Sweeping through the streets, Norfolk storm cleanup begins. Along Monticello Avenue, you see trash cluttered with mud mixed with wood chips. The debris falls in a line to mark the high water from Tuesday afternoon's downpour. High in the sky, Chopper 10 showed street after street of downtown flooded. Try to get through a high tide or a rainy day, and you just get sunk, sunk in water. And down on the street level, some drivers tried to navigate through the water and found their vehicles floating. Basically, it was so flooded, the wheels weren't even touching the ground. So I couldn't even pull, uh, push myself out of it. A spokesperson for the city says two inches of rain fell in a half an hour, and the city says it overwhelmed storm drains, leaving the water to pond on the streets, although they looked more like creeks. And if that's the case, neighborhoods like the one Rosa Bonds lives in became islands. The only one can get out is the ducks. They can get in, they can get out, but we can't get out or uh, in. Bonds lives in Calvert Square, and Tuesday's rain was no different than every storm or heavy rain to her. So I came outside. Mm -hmm. All this flood was out here, all of it, all from down that way, all the way to go up to there, then it go up to back there. The waters receded, but... I want to see the city clean, they see a mess up, and then this stink, this stuff is stinking. Today, city crews swept up debris by hand and by truck. They cleaned out catch drains, but trash and mud continue to litter some curbs, and this car remains unclaimed. A citywide cleanup after an unexpected afternoon downpour. Yeah, you can still see the debris right here by this storm drain, but I want to show you something. If you come over here, this right here is one of the storm drains. The water level is still only a few inches below the ground. So once that fills up and all the rain comes down, they can't, the water's nowhere to go, and then it all sits here once it recedes a little bit. So the storm water drain here is still very filled, very full rather, near the top. And that's the story of what happens right around here on Monticello Avenue in Norfolk whenever it rains a lot in a short amount of time. In Norfolk, I'm Matt Gregory. Tell on your side.